Hey there! Um, I know this is like really 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 late, but this is finally my June favorites video. Um, over the past week or so, I've been really busy with work and stuff, and actually over the past couple of days, I've been really sick. So this has been taking a long time for me to get this video out for you guys, but I finally have it for you, so I'm gonna jump right in and get started. So in terms of skincare, I kind of stayed with the same skincare routine. So I'm still using my Aveeno Skin Brightening Daily Scrub. But instead of during the nighttime, I'm using this during the mornings. So when I wake, when I wake up, I just have a nice exfoliant for my skin. And then at nighttime, um, when I'm in the shower, when I want to wash all my makeup off and stuff, I've been using my um, Face Cleansing Foam by Naive. And this is a Japanese brand. It's the green tea um, face wash. And I actually found this, I stumbled across it when I was walking through the Asian beauty aisle and I kind of um, was looking for a good cleanser and I kind of just bought it on a whim just because I was looking for a good cleanser and it was suggested as the best selling product from the line so I decided to pick that up and ever since I've started using it I've been really 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 loving it for um, removing all of my makeup and getting everything off my face at the end of the day so I've been really loving that as a good cleanser for my face but um, the downside to it is that um, it feels like a little bit um, soapy when you use it. It foams up really nicely and it gets everything off your face But afterwards after you wash it off it gets a little it feels a little soapy But that's the only downside to it other than that. I love it a lot and then in terms of moisturizer I'm still using my Neutrogena oil-free moisture in combination skin and I've been loving this even more through the month of June. I feel as though it gives you the good moisture but doesn't make you oily at all and it doesn't really um, dry out your skin either. So I really love that as a good moisturizer, especially since it works well with my skin. Um, but that's pretty much it in terms of skincare. As far as foundation goes, um, I've changed my sort of primer routine. So instead of just using my um, L'Oreal Studio Secrets Magic Perfecting Base, I've been using my Rimmel Fix and Perfect. And this is um, the foundation primer. And I use this all over my face. And then for the sort of bigger problem areas where I have larger pores, I've been continuing to use my Clinique Pore Minimizer. So this is definitely a really good product. I re recommend this, like, a lot. If you can get your hands on this and if you're willing to spend the money, this is a really great product for concealing your pores. I love it a lot. And then for liquid foundation, I've been leaning towards using my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet, and I'm in the shade 65. And this is perfect for the summertime because I can get the coverage I want and it keeps my skin nice and matte. So I'm not getting all oily and I'm not, you know, getting all shiny. And I'm staying nice and matte using this foundation. But for days when I'm just going to be going to work or I'm not really spending much time outside in the heat, I've been using my Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse. And this is actually one of my favorite drugstore foundations. I know some people don't really like it because they say it's too silicone-y and it's too, like, sticky, but I actually really like it. It's good coverage and it goes on well with my skin, so I really like that as a good drugstore foundation. And um, in terms of concealer, last month I know I mentioned that um, I was running out of my Benefit Boing concealer, and so a lot of you guys gave me really good suggestions, but the one I picked up was the Sonia Kashuk Hidden Agenda Concealer Palette. and I've been using this pretty much every day since I got it, and most of the time I end up using this shade, which is pretty much the darkest one in the palette, but I've been loving this a lot. I actually think I'm going to hit pan on it soon, so um, it goes to show how much I've been using this, but definitely worth purchasing and a lot cheaper than my um, Benefit Boing concealer, so I'll probably pick up another one of these after this is done. And then as far as pressed powders or powders go, I'm still continuing to set my foundation with Makeup Forever HD powder, just for all over. And for some days where I just want to um, sort of touch up or blot, I've been using my Maybelline Dream Matte Powder. And I've also used this a couple of times to set my foundation. I kind of forgot how much I love this pressed powder. This is one of my favorite drugstore pressed powders because it, it's really silky smooth and it glides on really nicely and it looks really, really clean on your face and I definitely love it to stay matte all day. So I really love that as a good powder. But um, for other powders that I've been loving are my NARS face highlights. I have them in Albatross and Nico. And I know I've mentioned these in a couple of videos before, but this is Albatross. 
it's sort of like a white golden sheen. You probably can't tell in the pan, but when you um, apply it on the cheeks, it's very, very, very pretty. And then this is Nico. And this is like a really pale, light peachy pink color, but it doesn't really show up. It probably shows up as white on camera, but this is very good for a nice natural highlight for everyday use. So I've been loving those a lot. And then for contour, I've actually been leaning away from using bronzers. I know I'm, I told you guys in several videos that I'm not really a blush person, but I have been loving my NYX blush in Coco. And it's the um, sort of like mauve brown color. And I know I mentioned this in my haul video, but ever since I got it, I've been using it every single day. And I feel as though it gives more of a natural um, contour to your cheeks and it looks really nice. It gives a nice flush and it looks a lot better than a lot of the deeper browns that I've been using previous to that. So I really, really, really love that. I think I might get into blush a little bit more. But um, yeah, I have been really like staying away from my bronzers for the entire month of June and going into July as well. So just trying new things and it's been working out really well. So I like it a lot. Anyways, um, in terms of eye products, I've been loving my sort of brighter blue colors. So I picked up the MAC eyeshadow in Surf USA from the Surf Baby collection. It's a really pretty turquoise -y teal color. And I don't actually have a color like this in my collection, so I thought it was a really good addition to my eyeshadows. And this is very good for adding... I've been using it as sort of like under the eyes and brightening up that area for a pop of color. And another blue color that I've been using a lot is another MAC eyeshadow. This is a Mega Metal shadow in Odalisque. And this came out in the um, Peacocky collection. So it's a little bit deeper blue. Still pretty bright, but very nice color to add some dimension and some color to your eyes. So I really like this a lot. And then in terms of eyeliners, um, I've been using more brown eyeliners recently just so that it's not so intense. So I, what I've been liking is my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil. And this one is in Whiskey. And this is the dual-ended one that came with the Naked palette. But I've been using the brown one a lot recently to define my eyes. Just because it gives sort of like a, a softer definition. And you still get the definition in your eyes, but it's not so intense as like a black color. So I've been liking that a lot. And another brown one that I've been using is my Physician's Formula Gel Liner. And it's sort of a deeper brown, but still gives the subtle detail in your eyes as well. So I like this a lot too. Oop, if I can get it close. And then another eye, well not really an eye product, but something that I've been liking for my eyeshadows, I know I mentioned it in my haul video, is my Uni palette. And I have them in um, blue and in white. This one is kind of empty. It only has one eyeshadow in it because I'm still working on depotting the rest and putting them in there. But I've been loving this. It just makes it so much easier to have all my eyeshadows in one place. And I can make more room so I can have um, storage and I can um, sort of narrow down my collection so it's a little bit easier to store and easier to organize and all that stuff. So I've been liking those a lot. But I think that's pretty much it in terms of eye products. Um, in terms of nail polish, I have been really loving my nudes and my blue colors since it's summertime. I don't really lean towards using really bright colors, I although a lot of people really do like bright colors during the summertime. I am not that bold, I guess. So what I've been liking is my MAC nail polish in, what is this, Hangin' Loose. And this came out with the Surf Baby collection as well. Um, it's a very pretty pinky beige color, very nudie on your nails. I've had this on my toes actually for the entire month of June and I still have it on my toes going into July. I painted my toes like three times in the process but I've been loving this. It looks like you have nothing on your nails when you have this on, but it just makes them look really clean and polished. So I really love how this looks on your nails, although I wish it was a little bit more opaque because it, it requires at least three coats to get the solid color that it looks like in the bottle. And then another nail polish that I've been loving is Go On Green by OPI. And I know I mentioned this in my haul video as well, but I haven't, I kind of underestimated this nail polish. Like in the bottle, it looks more of a sky blue, sort of like a subtle color. But if you wear it over like a, a deeper blue base color, I um, actually wore it over Cote Azure by Essie. And it really made the colors pop, it made the 
blue is more vibrant and it looked like a really nice vibrant aqua color and it was really 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 pretty. I had it on my nails last week. I think I linked it, a uh, picture of it below uh, my last video so if you guys wanted to see what that looked like. And the last nail polish that I've been loving for the month of June is my OPI White Shatter and I feel as though this is a really good shatter color for the summertime because you can add it to any of the brighter colors or the deeper colors and it sort of just makes it summery because it brightens it up because of the white. So I've been loving this a lot during the summer months, especially in June. So yeah, I've been loving that a lot. Um, another nail polish favorite that I've been loving from June, I guess it's, it's gonna be like a permanent favorite, but um, my nail polish rack over there. Since I got it in June, I guess I can count it as a June favorite. So yeah, I've been loving, 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 loving my nail polish rack. It holds everything in it, except for pretty much my drugstore nail polishes, but I'm really happy with how it holds it all and I can organize them and I can see them every day. So I really love my nail polish rack. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it for nail polish. Um, some other favorites that I've been loving. Um, I've been loving uh, stuff for my hands, like um, like hand creams or like moisturizers for my hands. So I've been using this pomegranate body butter by Moor, M-O-R, whatever it's called. And it smells like amazing. It smells like heaven. Like I've never had a body butter that smells as good as this. Like. I think pretty much for the most part everything that's pomegranate scented smells like amazing so I love this. And I've been pretty much using it just to keep my cuticles nice and moisturized and moisturizing my hands as well. As well as my arms too but just pretty much for my hands. And another thing I've been using to moisturize my hands is my Yes to Carrots Body Moisturizing Lotion. And um, I guess this is just a regular body lotion but I've been loving this for my hands just because um, I don't really like body lotion all over my body. And this smells really good. It smells really, like, it smells really clean. It doesn't smell like carrots, carrots, but I love the smell of this. It smells really nice, and it's just really great and moisturizing for my hands. So I love that a lot. And I think my last favorite for the month of June is this. And this is the Brookside Dark Chocolate Acai with Blueberry. And this is like what I've been snacking on like non-stop from June to July and I've been loving this. Like this is my second bag, this is not even open yet because I have one that's almost empty. But I got this from Sam's Club and this is like so good. And I don't feel so guilty about eating this because it's a natural source of flavanol, antioxidants, and dark chocolate, and acai, and blueberry is all really good stuff for you. So I really love this as, yeah. Because I like to snack and stuff. But yeah, uh, I think that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys have any questions about any of the stuff that I mentioned in this video, let me know in the comments or send me a message. And I will try to link as much of it as possible down below, but if I can't find the link for it, I'll try and find something. But yeah. Um, oh, and my nails, I will have a picture of those linked below as well. Uh, what do I have on my nails? I have, This is... My Lifesaver from um, Nicole by OPI, and then I have the OPI Blue Shatter over My Lifesaver, and this is Respect the World from Nicole by OPI. And that's pretty much what I have on my nails this week. I really like how it's like aqua, greeny, blue colors, so yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!